three, two, one, but does it actually start? Um, never starts on time. Hey, it's Hair Tweet Cat, also known as Jesse in the real world. In this world, this one, they call me Jesse over there. They call me Hair Tweet Cat. Um, I'm making a quick video about 10 reasons, 10 solid reasons to invest over just putting money in a savings account. Uh, obviously, everyone will probably have a savings account of some sort. They're very important to have. There's all sorts of savings accounts. You can do like CDs. Uh, those are not compact discs. I have one friend that thinks that. Uh, but I probably have a couple of friends that think that. But they shouldn't. Anyways, uh, here's a couple of reasons why you should invest over just savings. You should do both, but investing is really, really important. We will be interrupted here in a little bit by the oven timer. I'm making the kids lunch while I do this. Uh, they're supposed to be cleaning, but it looks like they're watching TV, but they're supposed to be cleaning their rooms. So we'll never know if they'll come down and ask a question. So anyway, let's jump into it. First, qu first reason. All right, potential for higher returns. Investing has the potential to generate higher returns than simply just saving your money in a low interest rate. One thing about Robinhood and even SoFi, if you look into them, they're a great fintech company, but they will pay a much higher rate on the money in their uh, savings, or I guess it would call it a cash sweep account, but their savings, or even like a checking account, because especially SoFi is getting into the whole debit thing and credit card thing and savings thing. They're also adding, that's the timer. They're also adding, that's the timer. Let me pause it and get these kids fed real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I should be back. Hopefully the timer's working. Okay, yeah. Um, pizza got to cool down. They're going to burn their mouths. I have white, hot, scaled, burned mouths if I feed them now. Anyways, so investing is important because you can grow your money much faster. Uh, like right now, we're having such a down market. You probably don't feel like you're growing your money, but by acquiring shares, not just buying stocks, but buying ETFs, bonds, uh, even like precious metals um, as an ETF or a stock, uh, like gold or silver, anything like that, you will dollar cast average and ultimately outpace your returns of just a savings account. Savings accounts are wonderful to put away, not spend, and then you have it there when you need to like pay your car insurance or um, say you find out that you have a shortage on like your um, your escrow because uh, your property values have gone up and you, you don't want your mortgage to go up, so you can just go ahead and pay that difference. Uh, so there's really great reasons why to have a savings account. Maybe you, you want to um, redo a bathroom or buy a car yeah, put the money in your savings account because the money that you're putting in your investment accounts, that's money you don't want to touch. That's You just got to put it away and kind of forget that you ever had it um, because you just never know when the market's really going to pop. They say, they say like the most money is actually made just a few days out of each year because there's so much growth on those days. And if your money's not in it, you're going to miss it and you're going to be playing catch up. Doesn't mean you can't catch up, but it'll take you a lot longer. So next point is kind of similar to the first point, but the opportunity for growth, right? Investing allows you the potential to grow your money over time, which we kind of just talked about, especially if you do one thing, and that's right here, I'll type it in. DCA, dollar cost average. Okay, so just keep putting money in over time, over time, over time. Some people say just invest in the S&P. Just put money in that over time. Not only does it pay a dividend, it tends to outpace all the other, um, uh, the rest of the market. Um, right now, it's not, but it tends to. We're in a crazy year. 2022 was terrible, crazy. Uh, 2023 is not looking great. Um, there's lots of stocks you can, and ETFs, you can do like triple leverage shorts on certain things like the Dow or Semiconductor or certain areas that you want to target. So if the stock market does go down as a whole, you will actually create create money, even though we would all just rather the stock market to go up. So, all right, diversification. diversification. 
allows you to spread your money across different uh, asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, and real estate, which can help you diversify your portfolio and your risk. And that's totally true. You got to spread it out. You can't have it all at one place. That's just not practical. Professional management. So these are real professionals. They, they're the ones that actually make ETFs. So many investment options. There's tons out there. You can do your research. You can, a lot of uh, brokerages have tools where you can search your ETFs and kind of figure out which one best uh, works for you and your values. So uh, they're managed by professionals. So they make all the decisions on your behalf. You just got to put your money in it and they will change things in the back end. But hopefully you grow some to stay away from right now. Anything ARC. Kathy Wood is a brilliant person. She's amazing. But she's very wrong right now. She's been wrong for a while. And you don't necessarily want her managing your money right now unless you are very long-term thinking and you think, well, the, mo the bottom is pretty low. It could get worse. But maybe some of the some of her funds really will take off, especially that in genomics. Genomics is a fascinating field. And she, she's probably right about that. She's a big uh, fan of like CRISPR and all that. Uh, a great genomic stock that I'm a fan of that's very well priced right now, probably too well priced, is uh, Bio Nano Genomics. Their ticker is BNGO. I have been buying them for several years, just dollar costing average. And then I sell calls uh, against them to uh, generate passive income uh, until I'm ready, until they really take off. Um, who knows when that will happen, but hopefully in the next like five years or so. All right. So potential for passive income. Some investments such as rental properties and dividend paying stocks can generate passive income which is money earned with little to no effort on your part. Now, that is very true. A lot of these blue chip stocks are stocks that pay great dividends. They also tend to stagnate. Once a stock becomes a big dividend stock, it tends to just kind of stay where it is, flatline or even go down. Uh, some people will swing these uh, to gain that, div that dividend and then sell out again. Um, a stock that pays a good dividend, but I see going down would be like Home Depot. I wouldn't, I see the housing market and uh, people are not going to be spending money at Home Depot over the next year. Uh, so that I would stay away from that one. AT&T, I might stay away from, uh, but you just got to do your own research. You just got to, like I said, you can use your brokerage. You can use that. You can figure out what stocks pay a dividend, uh, what percentage of that dividend is, and just look at it over the last year. And what's the trend? What do you see? Is it going up or, or is it going down? Uh, one that's probably always pretty safe is Coca-Cola. Um, it pays a great dividend for what it is. And that's something that people are going to be buying, uh, whether there's good or bad times. People buy their soda. All these businesses buy their soda. And that's just – it's just here to stay. Uh, it's one of my very first stocks I ever – but my grandma made me roll pennies and she bought the shares through my uncle who worked for a, an investment company. So that's kind of how I got uh, into it uh, was through family, uh, encouraging me as like a six year old, hey, save your pennies, literally and figuratively save them, buy stocks. Back then you actually got their certificates back in the uh, 80s and uh, early 90s. You actually got, I still have some of those certificates around here somewhere for Home Depot and Coca Cola. All right, so inflation protection. Inflation is what everyone talks about right now. Investing can help protect against uh, inflation. And uh, it will usually outpace the rate of inflation and rising prices. Right now is an exceptional, exceptional time. That's why we're not, inflation is insane. But they, the how the Fed is working to improve it, probably way he's probably increasing interest rates way too hard. But I do see this getting better by the middle of the year. Uh, so stocks will definitely outpace inflation, in my opinion, second half of next year. All right, um, tax benefits. Some investments such as 401ks and IRAs 
offer tax benefits can help save money on your taxes. Hey, baby, I love you. Shh. All right. I, that's my second, he's four. Um, 401ks are pre-taxed and usually matched by a percentage. So no matter what you're gaining on that. And IRAs, like a traditional IRA, if you put money into your traditional IRA, I think up to $2,000 a year, uh, you can actually uh, take that off of your tax. They'll take that off your taxes as a credit. Um, and then your Roth IRAs, if you do those, those are uh, not taxed. We take them out later in life. So um, definitely look into IRAs. Um, a huge believer of one of the best IRA managers is uh, Peter Thiel. Um, I think who knows how many how much money he has in his IRA, but he's like mastered it. So definitely look into that. All right, the opportunity to support causes you care about. Investing allows you to support companies uh, and industries that align with your valuables, uh, your, your valuables, your values, such as renewable energy. Hey guys, I can hear that bell from Polar Express, so that means I still believe in Santa too. But quiet for one second, okay? All right, and the opportunity to invest in like renewable energy, good governance, uh, clean water, even social justice, if that's you know something that you're looking to support. This, uh, you can find out what uh, stocks, what companies actually donate to help these type of these areas. You know, so you know it might you might think, well, Coca Cola is not, you know, for renewable energy or clean water or something like that, but you would be surprised that. I bet you they are putting money into uh, countries that need clean water. All right. The potential to create a legacy. Investing allows you to leave financial legacy to your loved ones, like I don't know, your uh, spouses, your kids, your grandkids. It also uh, will help let you um, make uh, charitable giving to your uh, favorite charities. And then you can actually – Give to a charity and then put that off on your taxes as well. So that's another way to compound your tax break. And I'm getting a very important phone call right now. So hold on one second. All right, I'm back. <laughs> day of uh, day of interruptions, but you know this. Uh, I want to finish this up. Try to finish this up before 14 minutes. So you can you can also yeah, like I said, you can compound uh, by donating to charity on your taxes. So it's adding even more of a tax break uh, to you you at the end of the year and uh you can also do a thing called um um oh, what's it called tax loss harvesting so if you had a stock that was a huge loser you can sell it at a loss do not buy it whatsoever for at least 30 sometimes i wait like 60 90 days just let it let it really go down uh before looking into it again but that way any money that you did make during the year, you can offset that by your loss. So you can bring your taxes down even more. So investing is a great way to reduce your tax burden every year, right? And then professional advice and support. So this is what you definitely get from like, you know, if you do like your 401k through like uh, Edward Jones or something like that, you're going to get advice, a phone call away by professionals that will help you out and help guide you and help you make informed decisions. Of course, you can do your own research, which I highly recommend you do. Um, you can go, you know, obviously I'm on YouTube. You go on YouTube and research yourself too. But I believe like, just like I wrote down 10 reasons why you should invest rather than save. I think that any stock that you're really considering, you should look for at least 10 solid reasons. Do a pro con, uh, let's look for 10 solid reasons why you think you should invest in that company and make informed decisions. So invest, like I say, invest your time before you invest your money. I don't know if I've ever, I've coined that, but I've said it my whole life. So let that be something I say, invest your time, do your research, then invest your money. Thank you everyone for watching this. Please like and comment and help share this video. Please help me grow this community. And if you're interested in a small thing I'm doing called investing your lunch, I'm literally taking lunch money every day, throwing it into an account and seeing where that's going to grow by the end of 2023. Hopefully I, we can grow that to about $5,000 just by inv investing our lunch money. So 
check in on that. You don't have to watch every, every episode, but just pop in here and there and see what we bought and what we did and what strategies we used to create that income. And I hope everyone has a wonderful holidays and uh, time with yourself, your loved ones, your pets and all that. All right. Talk to you guys later. Love you all. Bye.